Hi, my name is Maria and I am a 10,000 LDT cargo ship and I have sailed the seas for more than a decade now, weathering many a storm and turbulence along my work life. I have tirelessly sailed across oceans and seas, glided through straits and canals, carrying thousands of tons of cargo on my robust structure. I have coal, bauxite, machinery and so many other goods and materials. I have been fortunate that the owners and my crew have always taken extremely good care of me. But now, it's time for me to call it a day. As I approach the twilight of my life, I embark upon my final journey to the world's largest and safest ship recycling yard. I have come a long way. I have come a long way. Hmm, you might be wondering why a lung? Well, my owners have always wanted the best for me and they were confident that only Alang would give me the respect I deserve and take care of me as I would transform into many entities. My mother, grandmother Nina and her mother were wooden ships and they too made their final voyage to the Indian coast in the early 1900s. Their rich wood found its way into the boardrooms and bedrooms of the society's creme de la creme. The world's biggest ship-breaking yard. Alang Saucia in Gujarat, handled by Gujarat Maritime Board, manifests India's traditional culture of reuse, recycling and reprocessing. I'm sure to meet few of my sea journey friends at Alang, which has the capacity to handle 400 to 450 ships annually. The International Maritime Organization, IMO, adopted the Hong Kong International Convention in 2009 so that ships being recycled after reaching the end of their operational lives do not pose any unnecessary risks to human health, safety and to the environment. India is a signatory to the Hong Kong Convention and at Alang, 90 of the 131 operational ship recycling plots have acquired statements of compliance to the Hong Kong Convention. I have already started feeling euphoric as I feel I have arrived at the right place. Gujarat Maritime Board's Alang Ship Recycling has undergone continued efforts and has been adopting a best practice approach to strengthen in the areas of infrastructure regulations, health and safety, environmental aspects, economics and marketing, and thus to contribute to almost one-third of the global ship recycling volume. At Alang, ship recyclers prepare recycling facility management plan, specifying the manner in which each ship will be recycled, depending on its particulars and its inventory. Parties will be required to take effective measures to ensure that ship recycling facilities under their jurisdiction comply with the convention. Ship recyclers prepare ship-specific dismantling plan. The plan is approved by Gujarat Maritime Board as per the Ship Breaking Code 2013. Now, what makes Alang special is the practice of standard operating procedures which comply with the all-encompassing Ship Recycling Act 2019 passed by the Parliament in ratification of the Hong Kong Convention for the environment-friendly ship recycling and treatment and disposal of the waste. Even before beaching, a thorough inspection and check is undertaken of the various documents and records of hazardous wastes by the concerned departments and agencies. After the due procedure, the ship is beached and then the next set of checks and inspections followed by the concerned agencies. Only after receiving clearance from all the concerned agencies, Gujarat Maritime Board grants permission for cutting the ship. 
the furniture and fixtures of the ship are carefully removed and moved to the local market for resale, thereby reducing the generation of waste. While the waste that cannot be utilized for further use are segregated and sent to the treatment and disposal facility for further treatment and disposal. The asbestos is safely removed through wet methods in negative pressure chamber system and oily waste is sent to the authorized oil refiners. Even the paint chips removed from the gas cutting are disposed at the TSDF. The ship is then cut as per the approved plan and by the workers trained for 12 days in the Alang Safety Training Institute operated by Gujarat Maritime Board where each worker is certified by the IR class, a subsidiary of Indian Registrar of Shipping. The existing ship recycling capacity of Alang Saucia Ship Recycling Yard is about 4.5 million ton per annum. So, it has a capacity to reduce 7.34 million ton of CO2 emission annually as compared to conventional steel production from iron ores. Presently, Gujarat Maritime Board is in the process of upgrading the existing capacity to 6.5 million ton per annum. The steel so produced is sent to the re-rolling mills, where it is further processed in various useful forms for utilization in various sectors. Apart from above, a residential accommodation for about 1,008 workers is also developed to provide respectable housing for the workers. A multi-specialty hospital is also started to cater any type of incident and disease to the workers. A mobile health unit, ambulance facility and a fire station with latest fire tenders is also available to handle any type of eventuality in the yard. Various welfare activities are conducted for workers and their families. Gujarat Maritime Board supports the education of about 400 children of the workers in the two private schools where all the facilities are provided free of cost. Gujarat Maritime Board organizes various programs and sports activities for social well-being of the workers and their families. Let's talk to a few of my friends and find out why they feel this was the best place for me. For any task that involves risk, we consult our safety officer and follow his guidelines and instructions. I no longer exist as Maria, but thanks to Alang and the 21,000 workers, you can find me manifest into many forms across industries and households. I will continue to live as a hope. I will continue to live as a dream. I will continue to live as a future. I appeal to all my other sea friends to come to Alang for a happy ending and beautiful beginning.